All right, real quick update. I got a little carried away today, as I do. Um, it is <laughs> almost 10.30, and uh, I've been out here all day. Uh, so I was doing body. Um, got a couple body, more body panels done. Oh, of course that's going to happen. Uh, uh, got a side one right here. Got it bent up nicely. But I didn't zip tie it on, or <laughs> zip tie. Um, rivet, get started doing rivets yet. And the, it kind of lost its shape. I'm doing it with one hand. All right, you get the idea. Well, anyway, so I started doing body, and then I realized um, I'm getting carried away. I did the body last on the on the uh, Austin 7 I did, and for good reason. Uh, you gotta be able to get in here to uh, sort out your throttle linkage and your brakes and all that. I haven't, I haven't finished doing that yet. So I held off on body, um, route, routed the brake line, um, put a, made a dash. I, I made like four pieces of this uh, before I got it right. I used cardboard for a template, but um, uh, just it, it fought me a lot and I still didn't get it perfect so I'm gonna have to put gasket material all the way around it um, to take care of that gap but it'll look all right I'll put I'll put some edging uh, on the on that as well and of course I got a, a edge covering for for this um, switch in there oil temperature um, uh, got that routed this way the oil temperature probe I uh, I don't know if you can be able to see it I put it in the drain plug uh, on the front side so that drain plug comes out and, and one of those adapters that comes with it you could just it ain't the correct thread threads but it'll thread itself in there and then I, I still have uh, the drain on the back and then what you do is when you need to, oh, sorry, not drain, that's the fill, that's the drain. And uh, it's a real pain in the ass. Um, it's a real pain in the ass to do it with the motor on there. It's all easier to change oil to take it off. You're gonna service the whole motor. Um, I did get lazy on my last one and make a mess all over the place, but uh, we'll see. It's, 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 pulling the motor isn't that big a deal. Um, you do want to change your oil out, especially after the uh, first couple of times you run it. Um, I like to let it idle. It's a small engine break-in procedure. Let it idle for like five, ten minutes, uh, not more than ten minutes, and just just let it idle, and then uh, change the oil. Check it if there's any uh, mess in it or anything like that. If, if it's all good, new oil, and run it again. Get the, get up the temper temperature, but on the second time you're doing it, uh, rev it. Uh, rev it a whole bunch and uh, and if you don't take the governor out you can rev it up against the uh, the rev limiter the governor let it cool down after uh, run that do that bit for about 10 minutes of revving it and then uh, change the oil out again again check it make sure it's okay if everything's okay the motor's probably gonna be pretty good and then uh, and then go for broke after that okay all right a quick couple of minutes. I'm I was really busy today, man. It doesn't really look like I got much done, but uh, um, we did some work. We did some work today for sure. All right, happy uh, soccer carton.